In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this animated paper texture or any background texture animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have a video on this already on how to do this in After Effects easily and automatically with expressions before you go telling me this is easier done in After Effects. But for those of us that don't have After Effects or perhaps we want to get a little bit creative with our video editors that we do have, I'm going to show you a little workaround trick that you can do similar stuff like this pretty quickly as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just be working on a new sequence. I'm just using a, a standard 1080p sequence. Uh, it's kind of important that our paper picture or texture that we use has a bit of working room that's bigger than this sequence. So in my case, I just have a stock photo that I found on a stock photo website. Or you could even take your own or scan your own, whatever texture you have works. Uh, the only thing to note is that this picture is a little bit bigger than the frame, which is important. It gives us some room to work with. So if I go to the effect controls panel of this uh, JPEG image, then I can highlight the motion section. And if I have my move tool active, I can see the entire bounding box and I can move it around like so. So if I zoom out here, you can see how much different room we have to work with. That's the reason that you might want something a little bit bigger so you don't have to scale up too much and lose quality. But what we're going to do is just create a few simple keyframes. So from here, I'm just going to click this stopwatch icon on the position. I'm, I'm going to go to the very beginning of the clip, click the stopwatch icon under position, and I'm going to move forward a bit on the timeline to where we want to create our next keyframe. And an easy way to do this is, although you can adjust the sliders like up and down, a more intuitive and easy way is just highlight the motion section and you'll see in the program window this little box come up. Make sure you have your selection tool active and you can just move around. So I can do this pretty quick workflow of moving the timeline around and then moving the picture around. So we just want to create some more organic movements. Essentially we're just recreating what the wiggle expression does automatically in After Effects by hand, but it's not too long in itself. So by default, when I drag a picture in, it's five seconds. Of course, we might want longer backgrounds than that. So I'm even going to stretch this out to a good working size, like 30 seconds or a minute for those are easily duplicatable and usable. Uh, and I might, I might just do a few more keyframes. So I'll highlight the motion, I'll move forward a bit, just do a few more movements. And then at, at a certain point, once we've got a, enough random variables, I can just highlight all of these, press Command C and Command V. So I'm just going to copy and paste these. And if I've created enough unique ones, they should be pretty indistinguishable. Uh, then I'm just going to go to the end and you can use the next keyframe button if you want to be perfect about this. And I'll just press Command V to paste or until I filled up uh, my entire 30 seconds. So now I have this animation, but it's just a smooth animation, which is not what I want. Now, one way that I thought about doing this is highlighting all of the keyframes. So I'll hold shift and highlight everything from left to right and turn them into hold keyframes. However, if you don't make the keyframes spaced out or close together enough, this may look awkward. In my case, it works just fine. Another way that you could do this though, and I'm just giving you this for flexibility, is you could right click and nest the clip. This sort of groups it into its own sequence. And then on top of this sequence, once everything's all grouped together, you could go to the effects panel and look for one called posterize time. And you could add that on there and just lower the frame rate to something like three frames per second or two or four or whatever is the right speed that you want. And essentially you get a similar type of effect. Um, this might end up being a bit heavy if you, if you do too many keyframes and too many nests and effects, but both ways work. So whatever way that you find you like. And then what I just did in the beginning to give it that nice color, was just add a tint uh, in the color correction folder just to give it like a cool two-toned color that might be suitable for 
a title screen or background animation in some kind of documentary or chart thing. And I'll just make the colors a bit more contrasted with each other. And now we have this cool animation that's not too difficult to create. And if I needed it longer than 30 seconds, I could just simply copy and paste this sequence and do it as many times as I want. And you'll never really catch that. It's just the same dozen keyframes over and over. So if you enjoyed this video, my name is Justin Odisho. You could check out a lot more tutorials and cool tricks like this on my channel. And you can check out the After Effects version of this if you're curious to see the difference on that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.